protein purification tip. You can use Bradford reagent to track when proteins are coming off of your column in column chromatography and to see which portions um, like have protein that you can like pull together. And so basically Bradford reagent, we often use it to quantify how much protein there is. And we can do that if we make like a standard curve with a no protein of known concentration, but we can also just do it visually in this case. And so what I do is I just, when I'm doing a purification, I make a bunch of little tubes so you can put like 250 um, microliters of Bradford reagent. And then I go ahead and as the pro as I'm collecting in these different fractions, I then collect, take like five microliters of that and mix it with my Bradford reagent. Now, if there's protein there, the Bradford reagent is going to turn blue. And if there's not, it'll just stay, it's kind of like brownish color. Basically, the Bradford reagent, it's like a Comassi dye. Um, so the same sort of Comassi that you might use to stain your gels. And this in this case, what's gonna happen is that it's in an acidic environment right now. And when it's in that environment, it has this kind of like reddish brown color. But if it binds to protein, it turns blue. And so you can actually measure the wavelength. Um, you can measure like the change in the wavelength in order to get an idea, like an actual measurement of how much protein there is in there. Or you can just look with your eyes and say, hey, that looks blue, that doesn't look blue. And this can be really helpful if you're trying to figure out when you can stop doing your washes. So basically, if you were to look from the very beginning, you would see a lot of stuff would come through, just like go straight through the column. And then when you're doing your washes, you'd have a bunch of stuff wash off. And then you'd see it start to like decrease blueness. And then when you try to elute your protein, so maybe you add a competitor, you add glutathione, you add nickel, um, imidazole, you add something to try to get your protein to come off, well, now it should start to come off. And so you want to see, okay, well, which fractions is it actually coming off in, and how long do I have to keep collecting these fractions, especially if you're working in the cold room. So this can be a really helpful way to then know which samples have protein, know when you can stop you doing your washes, know when you can stop doing your elution. Um, again, if you wanted to go ahead and quantify these, you totally could. You can even do this um, in like a 96 well plate and then use a plate reader. But remember, if you want to actually quantify with it, you're gonna have to do a standard curve to compare to. But really just like having a visual look is really helpful when you don't have that UV trace because you're not doing things on an acta. So just a quick tip. So just like 250 microliters of your Bradford, five microliters of your sample, and your eyes. So hope that helped and hope you get blue too.